potentiometer comparison of emf circuit diagram materials required ammeter one way key rheostat battery potentiometer daniel cell Leclanche cell, two way key, high resistance box, and galvanometer. Procedure Connections are made as shown in the circuit diagram. Insert the one-way key. Adjust the rheostat and note the ammeter reading. Insert the key in between the terminals A and C of the two-way key. To check whether the connections are correct or not, place the jockey at the two end points of the wire. If the galvanometer shows opposite deflections, the connections are correct. Slide the jockey over the potentiometer wire and stop when the galvanometer shows zero deflection and measure the length from point P. It is taken as the balancing length L1. Record the values in a tabular column. Insert the key in between the terminals B and C of the two-way key. Slide the jockey over the potentiometer wire and stop when the galvanometer shows zero deflection and measure the length from point P. It is taken as the balancing length L2. Record the value in the tabular column and calculate the ratio L1 by L2. Adjust the rheostat and note the ammeter reading. Insert the key in between the terminals A and C of the two-way key. Slide the draw key over the potentiometer wire and stop when the galvanometer shows zero deflection and measure the length from point P. Record the values in the tabular column. Insert the key in between the terminals B and C of the two-way key. Slide the draw key over the potentiometer wire and stop when the galvanometer shows zero deflection and measure the length from point P. Record the values in the tabular column. Adjust the rheostat and note the ammeter reading. Insert the key in between the terminals A and C of the two-way key. Slide the draw key over the potentiometer wire and stop when the galvanometer shows zero deflection and measure the length from point P. Record the values in the tabular column. Insert the key in between the terminals B and C of the two-way key. Slide the jockey over the potentiometer wire and stop when the galvanometer shows zero deflection and measure the length from point P. Record the values in the tabular column. Repeat the experiment for different values of ammeter reading. Calculate the ratio E1 by E2. The EMF